Your uh, buddy was doing it today. Who's that? Check this out. Pennsylvania, one of the worst states in the country for Lyme disease. There's one plant in particular that harbors them. Meteorologist Ed Russo has more on that. Pennsylvania is a beautiful state, gorgeous rolling hills to endless mountain ridges and countless streams and rivers. Unfortunately, the landscape has also hosted the deer tick, and Japanese barberry, an invasive ornamental plant, is a perfect home for them. In Michaud State Forest, they recently removed eight acres of this plant. It's highly invasive and it crowds out our native plants. The challenge of importing these exotic plants is that because we don't know what they'll do, they can have a really terrible effect on the environment. Because deer and other wildlife don't eat them, they can absolutely harbor ticks. So the invasive Japanese barberry, an example of it, is right here. And unfortunately, you can't just pull it out. You got to cut it and then you got to rip it out, making sure you grab all of the roots. So the first thing you need is a cutter, a pair of Whoppers. Clippers. I call her Cindy. Wear gloves. The plant is prickly. Okay, so the cutting is done. A really good pair of whoppers is key. Who knew? Cindy, she can also cut, not just sing. You must have the right tools for removal or this bush will come back time after time. And what's worse? It puts out a chemical that tells the native plants to stop growing. Now you're seeing the bushes true colors. So the next step is the shovel. Like I said, you got to dig the roots out and sometimes that requires going deep. <laughs> Tough. You can't really, do oh, I need no. to go wider? So since we're near this tree, we're hitting a lot of the roots. So plant is even more difficult to get out of the ground. But with lots of effort, there you go. Thanks, Cindy. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. That's a workout. Don't need to go to the gym today. Try and remove as much of this bush from your property as possible. Don't just do it to help decrease the tick population. Do it for the exercise. Do it for the environment. Or do it because you just want to have fun. Ed Russo, CBS 21 News.